we present All Gas and Gators. Episode six, only three can play. Starring Robertson Hare, William Mervyn, Derek Nimmo, and John Barrett. It's Thursday evening, and in the study of the palace, the archdeacon, the bishop, and his chaplain sit around a table playing the railway game. My word, I enjoy these Thursday evenings, Henry. <laughs> Me too, bishop. I look forward to them all the week. Just the three of us sitting here. Well, I was trying to remember what we did before we invented this game, and you know I couldn't. It's your turn, Boot. Here's the title. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh, which is your engine, oh, the diesel, my lord. Well, come on, move it along four squares. I think so. One, two, three, four. What does it say? Ah, uh, old station. Aha, here we go. Can you hand me the departure, Pair Car Speaker? Well, a note. Uh, take the top card. Thank you. Oh, what station are you leaving from, Newt? King's Lynn, my lord. That's in Norfolk. Where are you going to? Yeah, yes, yeah, the destination pack, Newt. Oh, thank you very much, Archie. Oh, I've got to go to Welshpool in Montgomery, sir. King's Lynn to Welshpool, right across the country. That's a nasty one. Come on, shake up. Oh, I hope I don't get one. Oh, you'll be sunk if you do. You'll never manage that journey with only one change. No, you'll need four at least. Oh, five, my last in. From King's Lynn to Welshpool with five changes. Now, let me see. Barbarian and Shrewsbury, I suppose. Well done. Now, we have to go. King's Lynn to Cambridge, of course. I think it's making an early start. I'd say you'd better. You'll never oh, do it in a day. 7.31 from King's Lynn to Cambridge arrives at 8.40. Wrong. Oh, sorry, sorry. 8.41. Yes. Oh, oh, I thought you got off the rails yeah, there. I changed it. I changed it. I changed it. Oh, dear. Uh, you, you, you've got one. No, better. No, that's no good. No, no. But then, bro. Uh, splendid. You're doing well. That's three. Oh, thank you, Lee. 11.18 from Cambridge to Banbury, arriving at 3.17. Hmm, that's two and a half hours wait at Cambridge. You can't afford many like that. Well, then Banbury to Barnum, of course. Yes, the 3.31, arriving at 4.26. Which station? Snow Hill, my lord. Hmm. Oh, one of my favourites. You're into ribbon. Oh, I'm cool to go now. I've got to improvise a bit well there. Bah, Stafford. Yes, that's it. From Stafford to Shrewsbury. Right, I want some of the money to Stafford. From Snow Hill? Oh, certainly not, my lord. From New Street. Ah, uh, the 450 from New Street arriving at Stafford at 545. Oh, colossal. Oh, 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 oh. That's four changes. Only one to go. Now it's 545 and I'm in Stafford. Let's hope the buffet's open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. The 656 to Shrewsbury arriving at 9 p.m. That's done it. I'm afraid you've had it new to. You'll never get a trade out of Shrewsbury to Welsh School at that time of night. I yeah. warned you you couldn't afford to hang about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If to the post for oh, bad luck. You miss a turn. Bad luck. Doubt me. What about the 9.42? Eh, well, what about it? There's a 9.42 from Shrewsbury to Welshpool. I don't believe it. Is it down to Jansby, my lord? Yes, the timetable. Eh, oh, well, um, uh, I, um... You, uh, you miss a turn, if he's right, Bishop. Oh, well, I suppose it's just possible. Leaves Paddington to run a proof platform at 4.10 and arrives at Shrewsbury at 9.40. Oh, damn <laughs> Ah, that doesn't stop at Welshpool. But he does, he does. To set down only. Oh, oh, yes, so it's done. Ah, but you have to give notice to the guard at Shrewsbury. I intend to do that, my lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, shake up and let's get on. Three. One, two, three. You have missed your connection. Oh. Spend the night in the waiting room and move the sun. How long? Ah. <laughs> luck, no. Now it's my turn. I must say, you know, we really got this game right now, haven't we? It works. So oh, splendid. Uh, a three! <laughs> now I move my engine on. One, two, three. You've caught the Pullman Express. Move on six squares. Oh, I see what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't see what it says. Can you, Henry? You had lunch at crew. Food poisoning. Miss two turns. <laughs> Yes, that's Bishop. Uh, now it's my turn. Oh, well. Hey, but before you go on, Henry, just go and see if there's any more coffee in the jug, will you, Luke? Ah, yes, my lord. Here we are. We are. We are. Oh, dear. Sorry about that, Henry. Oh, that's all right, Bishop. Uh, sh shall we make some more, Luke? Ah, well, we could, my lord. Have we got enough milk, Luke? Ah. Luke! What are you doing? Well, um, sorry, I'm not a deaf young woman, I trust. <laughs> a young, a young woman? Oh, where? Sit down, Henry. 
Not only the girl whose mother's taken Gallon Prosser's house, Luke seems to spend his entire time staring at her. Oh, uh, I don't wonder, Bishop. She's got something worth staring at. Hey, Bray! <laughs> I'm surprised that you're noticing such things at your age. Oh, sure. I'll tell you anything, my lord. It's sticks out of mine. Here, here. Steady on there, steady no, on. No, really, please remember that you're a clergyman. Well, of course, but why shouldn't the clergyman be a person with Vincent Carr? Vincent Carr? Yes, Lord, she's got the best one I've ever seen, hasn't she, Archdeacon? Yeah, if you say so. I hadn't noticed her car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't care what attraction she may have. Will you please stop the piece? Right here, my lord. Yes, she's gone into the house. Good. Then perhaps we can get on with the game. Yes. Oh, Lord. Uh, has she come out again? Sit down, Henry. <laughs> Luke, you heard what I said. Oh, the dean, my lord. The, the dean. What's he doing? Yes. He was a there and on his knees, Mrs. Well, come away from the window, Luke. The last thing we want on a Thursday evening is to be interrupted by the dean. Oh, of course not, my lord. I, I didn't think he's on there. Good. Now, Henry, it's your turn, isn't it? It certainly is, Bishop. Right. Here's the light. Oh, I forgot. I must say, this is all very pleasant. <laughs> indeed, indeed, Bishop. Uh, behold how good and pleasant it is. A brethren that dwell together in unity. Are you not? Know, oh, yes, Archdeacon. It's like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even upon Aaron's oh, beard. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Psalm 133. Now, come on, Henry. For goodness sake, don't hold us up any longer. We haven't got all night. Who on earth can that be? You're expecting anyone to? Oh, no, no. Ah, one free evening interrupting the game like this? Some business. <clears throat> well, I'll see who it is. What have we got, Henry? A uh, one. After all that shaking, I forgot to blow on it. Oh, oh well, come on, move on your engine. What does it say? Uh, you've been caught travelling in a first-class carriage with a second-class ticket. You are disqualified. Dean, <laughs> <laughs> my lord. Good evening, my lord. Oh, oh, Dean. <laughs> Good evening, Dean. Ah, gambling, Archdeacon. Gambling. Certainly not worth playing an innocent game of our own device. A yes, game of chance, I suppose. On the contrary, a game of skill. It's taken us three years to perfect this deal. No thought it. Well, I suppose you did have the initial idea that happily I was able to develop. You think the essence is that you take a part from each pack and they each have the name of a station on them, then you have to work out a journey between the stations to a certain number of games. And you have to know the times of all the trains in the British Isles. By heart. Both summer and winter services. Uh, how do you decide on the number of changes required? You throw a dice. Ah, as I said, game of chance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> May I ask what we owe the pleasure of this? Our Thursday evenings are sacred. I'm aware of that, my lord. However, when I tell you that lawlessness is talking the cathedral close, I think you will permit my intrusion. Lawlessness? I have just witnessed five cases of law breaking. Jeez. Is it uh, uh, an inside job? Yes. It is, Archdeacon, and you are one of the culprits. Me? Henry, you can't be serious. The Archdeacon, what's he done? His offence is vehicular. Oh, is that bad? <laughs> it relates to your vehicle. In the course of my evening stroll, I have observed no less than five motors, each one parked within four feet of a fire hydrant, and in such a manner as to obscure it from view. And you come to warn Henry? No! I have come to tell him to move his motor immediately. Oh, but I can't leave the game. I'm afraid you must. Why must I? Because you are contravening section 402, subsection 89C of the local bylaw. Not your evening, is it, Henry? No, Bishop, it isn't. I now have to see the young woman whose mother has taken Cannon Crosser's house over the road. She, too, is a culprit. However, I am in some difficulty here, as I am not acquainted with this young lady. Well? Well, I should not like to be thought sufficient. No. Perish the thought. <laughs> so I wondered whether, my lord, as she is a neighbour of yours, you would care to point out the infringement. Me? In my position? Go to a stranger? It's certainly not. Uh, could Newt go? Oh, that's different. <laughs> Newt, you slip across to our new neighbour and tell her she's upset the dean, won't you? Tell her that she has contravened a bylaw. No, 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 I can't. No, please, Martin. No, what? Please. Why not? Well, I, I, I haven't been introduced. Well, introduce yourself. Oh, well, I couldn't, my lord. No, I really could Newt, do as I say. And but my lord, I... Newt! Do as I say. Are you really sure you want to get it? Well, haven't I just said so? Well, I only hope, my lord, that you won't live to regret me. What a very curious thing to say. Well, Dean, let me show you one. One moment, my lord. Yes. This game. Well, what about it? It interests me. Oh, yes, well, it's a very good game. Now, Dean, I should like to stay and watch you play it. Oh, well, I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? 
Oh, well, we, 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 we can't play without loot. Oh, well, in that case... Did you have... I shall coat? await his return. <laughs> oh, will you? Yes, I shall sit here in his chair. Oh, I couldn't do more than that. Hello. Uh, 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 hello, I, um... <laughs> yes? Uh, the, 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 the bishop behind me? Yes, I know, you're the bishop's chaplain, aren't you? Yes, the dean, the, um, the dean, um, for the dean... No, I'm afraid I don't know the dean. Is he nice? No. Oh, well, I mean, that is... <laughs> your car, your, your, your car, um... Oh, do you like it? Oh, yes, I mean, it's the 1924, the 1923 model. <laughs> the 1923, it was my grandmother's. Look, why don't you come in? Oh, I say, no, Oh, Dean, as loose as being such a long time, wouldn't you like to go home? I should prefer to wait. Pretty. <laughs> I have an idea. Yes. Why don't you teach me the rules of the game? Then, when Luke returns, I shall be able to take a more active part. Oh, but I, but, but, but I thought you only wanted to watch. I have never relished the role of spectator. Oh, well, I'm afraid that's impossible. Indeed? Why is it impossible? Uh, because only three can play. <laughs> oh, oh, good, look, look. It looks as though Luke has been successful. Yes, she's getting into her car, do you see? Uh, yes, yes. But uh, why is no getting in too? Oh, well, I expect he's going to... Uh, he's going to show her where to park, him. Uh, yes, there they go. Well, but, but why, uh, why aren't they parking outside the chapter office? I always do. Because, as I am constantly reminding you, Archdeacon, it is strictly forbidden. But, look, they're not parking anywhere. They've driven out through Pilgrim's Creekway. They're going into the town. Henry, what's his new doing? What? Does he think he's doing? He's rather messed up things, Bishop. Messed us up? He's ruined our home. Nick. Not entirely, my lord. What do you mean, not entirely? How can we play without loot? You can't play with only two, Dean. Precisely, gentlemen, but we are three. <laughs> oh. Yes, my lord, yes. Is that you? Ah, yes, my lord, yes. Where have you been? Ah, out, my lord. Out. Out? How dare I said you on a simple errand, and the next thing I see is you driving about quite irresponsibly with a young woman. And then to come creeping in at this time, you realise it's midnight. Mr. Well, hasn't the time passed quickly? Hey. <laughs> quickly! It may have done for you. The Archdeacon and I were left to play the game with the D. Oh, I'm fine. Well, I thought he was on the bed, Andy. Well. On the contrary, he won all four games. <laughs> well, sure, he didn't know the times of all the change in the British Isles. Well, of course he didn't. But he altered the rules so much that they ceased to matter. <laughs> oh, really, no job behaviour is unforgivable. Where have you been? Well, Christine and I. Who? Oh, Miss Buckley, uh, our mother taking Cannon Foster's house property. We went to the cinema. She took me in her car and we saw the town of music. Oh, it was wonderful. You should see it. I don't want to. But it's all about a Miss Julie Andrews, you see, my lord. She's a nun and she stands on the hill and she thinks all about her favourite things. Kittens, whiskers and brown paper parcels and <laughs> having snow on her eyebrows. And... You see, there are all these other nuns. Oh, I see. An R.C. film. <laughs> No, 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 it was it's lovely. Oh, well, I'm going to play. You will go into the study and check tomorrow's engagement. Oh, dead. Ah, no. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. You understand what I say? Oh, yes. About what? <laughs> Good night, Luke. Ah, thank you so much. Oh, excuse me. Where are you going? Oh, just after the landing window. The landing window? Whatever for? Well, I promised Christine to blow her a good night tip. Oh. <laughs> Where are the counters, Henry? I've got the steam in the electric, Bishop. Haven't you got the diesel? Oh, yes, here it is. Have you shuffled? Uh, no, no, no. no, no usually does that. Uh, don't mention that broken reed. Oh, isn't he any better? Better. Christine Buckley and the sound of music. That's all I hear. I'm told it's a very good film. <laughs> My Mrs. Banner, oh, she's seen it twice. Twice? That's nothing. He's seen it every night this week. He's turned his brain. 
I asked him to type my address to the ordinance, and when I got up to read it, I heard myself saying, Let us never forget the things that the blessed St. Augustine held most dear. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. <laughs> He's not going to see it again tonight, is he? And miss the game? Oh, I think you can take it from me, Henry, that even Newt is not completely a bad one. Just off, my lord. Up. Off? Off where? Ah, uh, to meet Miss Dean, my lord. I'm taking her to the sound of music. You're what? Newt? Don't you know what today is? Ah, yes, sir, my lord. It's awfully good. Have you seen it, Archdeacon? Oh, no, no, but Mrs. Banner's been twice. But, but, but what about the railway game? Well, I'm sorry, my lord. I try not to be too late. I've never seen such selfishness. I say, old chap, uh, don't desert us. But I promised Christine. Oh, this is gone plan. Look, as your bishop, I solemnly forbid you to... What have you got round your neck? Here's some a flower escort, my lord. Uh, Christine made it for me. Isn't it pretty? Pretty? It's grotesque. Take it off at once. It makes you look like the outside of a seed packet. <laughs> Oh, what a spiteful thing to say. But well, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to say that. Excuse me, my lord. You're standing in the way. Stop, Luke. Stop. I won't allow you. Luke, Luke. Oh, come back. Oh, no, 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 no. Look here, you chaps. No, 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 no. Back, back. Ah. If you go, Luke, I shall take your formal resignation from your post as my chap. Well, that is your privilege, my lord. You'll find your host here in the summer. Good night, Archie. All right, go. Go to your Delilah. Ooh, wretched, feeble boy. And on a Thursday, too. She's an attractive little thing, though. <laughs> attractive? She's not my idea of a woman, Henry. Isn't she? No, no. If ever this heart has felt a flutter, and the happy moments I think of it, it's been on account of a real woman. Some little feminine person, warm, loving, utterly domestic. Don't you agree? Well, I like a woman with spirit. Amy Johnson and Dusty Springfield. <laughs> If that's Newt, don't let him in. Uh, uh, but, but if he's repented, Bishop... Well, he's not getting any forgiveness from me. Tell him I've made other... Oh, dear, oh, dear. Still, if that's what you want... I do, Henry, I do. Uh, don't be it, then. I'll just open the door. Uh, oh, no, I won't. <laughs> Henry, what's the matter? Uh, it's the Dean. He's outside. The Dean? What does he want on a Thursday evening? He must have come to play the game. Oh, no. God, have another evening like that. There's only one way to stop him. What? Well, get Luke back. Remember, only three can play. No, Henry, no. My pride would not them. But think of that, Luke Bishop. Yes. Yes, well, I suppose pride is a sin. You hold the fort, and I'll slip round the back way. Right. Good luck, Bishop. Uh, just coming. What's the... Oh, oh, dear. <laughs> is it you? May I ask why you shut the door in my face? Oh, 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 so sorry, I didn't recognize you. Oh? <laughs> well, may I ask who you thought I was? Uh, the man from the proof. <laughs> Your briefcase, you know. Really? Well, you'll be pleased to hear that I enjoyed myself so much last week that I've decided to come and play with you again. Uh, that's jolly. <laughs> Oh, you're not, are you? I am the Bishop of St. Margaret, madam. Oh, how lovely. Oh, do come in, won't you? Well, I... Uh, are you uh, Miss Butler? Oh, no, no. I'm her mother. Yeah? Oh, well. If I may say so, you look hardly old. Oh, Bishop. <laughs> oh, how very nice. What a charming thing to say. Do come in, won't well, you? Well, madam, I... Come in. Come in. Well, I've come to retrieve my chaplain. Oh, dear man. I was just mending his Oh, so I see. What a beautiful dog. <laughs> uh, I love doing little things for him. He's such a sweet boy. Sweet? Well, uh... <laughs> Christine. Christine is so fond of him. He's taking her to the sound of music again this evening. You know, he's quite dotty about that thing. The very word I would have used. <laughs> I hear it's very good. Have you seen No, madam, I have not. As a matter of fact... You want to, I know. So do I. They've asked me to go with them, but 
But between ourselves, I felt I, I didn't want to play Goodsbury. But we'll do go into the sitting room. Christine, you'll know you're in there. <laughs> Thank you, madam. <laughs> Note. Hey, 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 my Lord, yes, yes. Are you surprised to see me, Luke? Ah, yes, my Lord, yes. Um, do you know, Chris, I mean, Miss Piper? No. How do you do, young lady? Hello, Chris, just a bit of a surprise. I don't doubt it. Luke? Yes, my Lord? Do you know why I am here? Ah, uh, no, my Lord. I am here because... You want to see the sound of music. Yes. <laughs> well, 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 I... I the bishop's uh... been telling me how much he wants to see the sound of music. Madam, oh, I... Mershing, what a super idea. You can bring Mummy. She's been wanting to see it for ages. Oh, why don't you, my lord? We make a sudden change in the railway game. Oh, oh, Bishop, would you? Well, Madam, frankly, I... I should not. <laughs> However, there is one small problem. What small problem is that, my lord? A small ball problem. <laughs> And his chaplain be much longer, Archdeacon. No, 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 no. They, uh, they'll be back any minute. Please. I've given this game some thoughts during the week. Oh, oh dear. I mean, oh, oh, have you? Yes. As a result, I have entirely rewritten the rule book. <laughs> I have it here in my briefcase. I've introduced a great many more penalties. I think you will find it much more fun. Hmm. The track will have to be considerably altered, of course. But it's taken us three years. There's always room for improvement, Archdeacon. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Only What's a car starting. Oh, 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 shouldn't we see who it is? There you are, Archdeacon. I will go to the window. You study those new rules. How strange. Strange? Oh, what is then? You seem to be misinformed, Archdeacon. The bishop and his chaplain will not be back. Oh, of course they will. They wouldn't leave me here with, uh, I mean, uh, without them. <laughs> then why have they just driven off in a motor with women? Women? What? Well, let me see. Look. They're just going through the Pilgrim's Gate. No, but they, they can't. I say, chaps, it's, it's not cricket. <laughs> it seems that we shall have to play the game by ourselves, Archdeacon. Only three can play. Only three could play, Archdeacon. That is another of my improvements. No, Archdeacon, you can't do that. Uh, but, but surely I, I'm allowed a move sometimes. Not until I tell you. <laughs> We've been playing for 20 minutes and you, you've had it all the time. That is because I threw a six. You failed to throw a six, so you are naturally penalised. But I don't seem to be able to do anything right. Hmm. Whose fault is that? What was that? Stop fidgeting. I thought I heard a car. Really, Archdeacon, you thought you heard at least a dozen cars. But I'm sure I did. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a car. I knew it. Don't you think he heard us, my lord? I don't know, Newt. Could you blow it again, my dear? Of course, Bishop. Ah, that should do it. Oh, yes, look, my lord. He's looking out of the window. Lynn, now, the problem is to communicate. What can we do, Bishop? Point to the fire hydrant, dear lady. We must all point to the fire hydrant. The fire hydrant? Whatever for? Henry will understand. Well, I'm pointing, my lord. So am I, Bishop. Oh, he's seeing us, look. Oh, he's giving us a thumbs up. Lynn, now we must just sit tight and see what happens. Well, Archdeacon, was it a car? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Dean. Then come and sit down. You're interfering with my concentration. <laughs> uh, Dean. Oh, yes, Archdeacon, what is it now? Uh, I've suddenly remembered. What have you suddenly remembered? Uh, I've suddenly remembered uh, I've left my car in front of the fire hydrant uh, again. Uh, yes, I must go and move it at once. But you can't leave the game. I'm afraid I must. Why must you? Oh, but, well, uh, yes, I, I, I'm contravening section 402, <laughs> subsection 89, and the C of the local bylaws. Uh, good night, Dean. <laughs> He shouldn't be long now. Well, I do hope not, my lord. The film passed in ten minutes. Here he comes. Look, he's running. Well done, Henry. You've made it. Well, come along, Archdeacon. Oh, oh, oh Bishop. Uh, am I glad to see you? Uh, he's rewritten the rule book. But he can't. Oh, never mind, Archdeacon. You're coming with us. We're going to see the sound of music. Now, do you know Mrs. Buckley and her daughter? Oh, uh, how do you do? Uh, how do you do? Come on, let's go. Jump into the oh, car, Archdeacon. Yeah, yeah. But I can't. Why not, Henry? Well, I, I can't taste gooseberry. It's not done. Oh, don't worry, Henry. You won't. No, Archdeacon. May I introduce you to my grandmother? We've been <laughs> to fetch her for you. How do you do, Archdeacon? I hear you're taking me to the cinema. Delighted, madam, delighted. 
My word, I haven't been to the cinema since they showed The Life of Amy Johnson. Amy <laughs> <laughs> She was my dearest friend. Oh, oh, oh yes. Uh, do you, do you, by any chance, know uh, uh, Dusty Springfield? <laughs> Come on, Archdeacon, jump up and always will miss the film. Yes, Henry, it's not the game, but at least six can play. In that episode of All Gas and Caters, the parts were played as follows. The Archdeacon, Robertson Hare, the Bishop, William Mervyn, the Bishop's Chaplain, the Reverend Newt, Derek Nimmo, the Dean, John Barron, Christine, Elizabeth Proud, Mrs. Buckley, Sonia Fraser, Granny, Eva Stewart. Only Three Can Play was written for television and adapted for radio by Pauline Devaney and Edwin Apps. The program was produced by David Hatch. Which station? Snow Hill, my lord. Mm. Oh, one of my favorites. You're into ribbons. Oh, I'm to go now. I've got to improvise a bit well there. Via Stafford. Yes, that's it. From Stafford, shows breath. Right, I want some of them running to Stafford. From Snow Hill. Certainly not, my lord. From New Street. Ah, uh, the 450 from New Street arriving at Stafford at 545. Oh, colossal. Oh, 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 oh. That's four changes. Only one to go. Now it's 545 and I'm in Stafford. Let's hope the buffet's open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. The 656 to Shrewsbury arriving at 9 p.m. That's done it. I'm afraid you've had it new to. You'll never get a trade out of Shrewsbury the Welsh school at that time of night. I warned you you couldn't afford to hang about. <laughs> If to the post for oh, bad luck. You miss a turn. Bad luck. Doubt me. What about the 942? Eh, well, what about it? There's a 942 from Shrewsbury to Wales School. I don't believe it. Is it down to the end, my lord? Yes, the timetable. Eh, oh, well, um, um, I, um... You, uh, you miss a turn, if he's right, Bishop. Ooh, well, I suppose it's just possible. Leaves Paddington from another two platform at 410 and arrives at Shrewsbury at 940. Oh, that one. <laughs> ah, that doesn't stop at Wales School. But it does, it does. To set down only. Oh, oh, yes, so it's done. Ah, but you have to give notice to the guard of Shrewsbury. I intend to do that, my lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, shake up and let's get on. Three. One, two, three. You have missed your connection. Oh. Spend the night in the waiting room and lose the sun. How long? Bad luck, too. Now it's my turn. I must say, you know, we've really got this game right now, haven't we? Wax. So splendid. A three! <laughs> now I move my engine on. One, two, three. You caught the Pullman Express. Move on six square. Oh, I see what I mean. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't see what it says. Can you, Henry? You had lunch at crew. Food poisoning. Missed two turns. <laughs> Yes, that's Bishop. Uh, now it's my turn. Oh, well. Hey, but before you go on, Henry, just go and see if there's any more coffee in the jug, will you, Ruth? Ah, yes, my lord. Here we are. We are. Oh, dear. Sorry about that, Henry. Oh, that's all right, Bishop. Uh, sh shall we make some more, Newt? Ah, well, we could, my lord. Yes. Have we got enough milk, Newt? Ah. Newt! Um, what are you doing? Well, um, try and take not a deaf young woman, I trust. <laughs> a young, a young woman? Oh, where? Sit down, Henry. <laughs> it's only the girl whose mother's taken Gannon Prosser's house. Luke seems to spend his entire time staring at her. Oh, uh, I don't wonder, Bishop. She's got something worth staring at. Henry! <laughs> I'm surprised that you're noticing such things at your age. Oh, Hill Park within four feet of a fire hydrant, and in such a manner as to obscure it from view. And you've come to warn him. No! I have come to tell him to move his motor immediately. Oh, but I can't leave the game. I'm afraid you must. Why must I? Because you are contravening section 402, subsection 89C of the local bylaw. Not your evening, is it, Henry? No, Bishop, it isn't. I now have to see the young woman whose mother has taken Canon Trussell's house over the road. She, too, is a culprit. However, I am in some difficulty here, as I am not acquainted with this young lady. Well? Well, I should not like to be thought officious. No, perish the thought. 
So I wondered whether, my lord, as she is a neighbor of yours, you would care to point out the infringement. Me? In my position? Go to a stranger? It's certainly not. Uh, could Newt go? Oh, that's different. <laughs> Newt, you slip across to our new neighbor and tell her she's upset the dean, won't you? Tell her that she has contravened a bylaw. No, 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 no I can't. If he's in Boston, the lawyer. What? Why not? Well, I, I, I haven't been introduced. Well, introduce yourself. Oh, well, I couldn't, my lord. No, I really couldn't. Newt, do as I say. And but my lord, I... Newt, do as I say. Oh, yes, of course, yes, yes. Are you really sure you want to get it? Well, haven't I just said so? Well, I only hope, my lord, that you won't live to regret me. What a very curious thing to say. Well, Dean, let me show you one. One moment, my lord. Yes. This game. Well, what about it? It interests me. Oh, yes, well, it's a very good game. Now, Dean, I, I should say. like to stay and watch you play it. Oh, well, I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? Oh, well, we, 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 we can't play without loot. Oh, well, in that case, did you have I shall await his return. <laughs> Oh, will you? Yes, I shall sit here in his chair. Oh, I couldn't do more than that. Oh, it's you. Hello. Ah, uh, uh, hello. I um. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, the, the, the uh, bishop is behind me. Yes, I know. You're the bishop's chaplain, aren't you? Yes. So the dean, the um, the dean, um, for the dean. No, I'm afraid I don't know the dean. Is he nice? No. Oh, well, I mean, that is, <laughs> your car, your, your, your car, um... Oh, yeah. do you like it? Oh, yes, I mean, it's a 1924 or the 1923 model. It's a 1923, it was my grandmother's. Look, why don't you come in? So I say, may I go? Oh, thanks, Miss Porter. <laughs> oh, look, Dean, as long as has been such a long time, wouldn't you like to go home? I should prefer to wait. Pretty. <laughs> I have an idea. Yes. Why don't you teach me the rules of the game? Then, when Luke returns, I shall be able to take a more active part. Oh, but I, but, but, but I thought you only wanted to watch. I have never relished the role of spectator. Oh, well, I'm afraid that's impossible. Indeed? Why is it impossible? Uh, because only three can play. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Look, look. It looks as though Luke has been successful. Yes. She's getting into her card, you see. But am I... Well, I've come to retrieve my chapter. Oh, dear man. I was just mending this. Oh, so I see. What a beautiful dog. <laughs> uh, I love doing little things for him. He's such a sweet boy. Sweet? Well, uh... <laughs> Christine. Christine is so fond of him. He's taking her to the sound of music again this evening. You know, he's quite dotty about that thing. The very word I would have used. <laughs> I hear it's very good. Have you seen it? No, madam, I have not. As a matter of fact. You want to, I know. So do I. They've asked me to go with them, but, but between ourselves, I felt I, I didn't want to play good three. Well, do go into the sitting room. Christine and dear Merlin are in there. <laughs> Thank you, madam. Luke. Hey, 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 my lord, yes. Yeah. Are you surprised to see me, Luke? Ah, uh, yes, my lord. Yes. Um, do you know Chris? I mean, Miss Pike, eh? No. How do you do, young lady? Hello, Bishop. This is a surprise. I don't doubt it. Luke. Yes, my lord. Do you know why I am here? Ah, uh, yes, my lord. I am here because... You want to see the sound of music. Uh, <laughs> well, 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 I... I the bishop's I, been telling me how much he wants to see the sound of music. Madam, oh, I... Oh, smashing! What a super idea! You can bring Mummy. She's been wanting to see it for ages. Oh, why don't you, my lord? We make a such a change in the railway game. Oh, oh, Bishop, would you? Well, madam, frankly, I... I should not. <laughs> However, there is one small problem... What small problem is that, my lord? A small ball problem. <laughs> Bishop and his chaplain be much longer, Archdeacon. No, 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 they, uh, they'll be back any minute, please. I've given this game some thought during the week. Oh, oh dear, I mean, oh, oh, have you? Yes, as a result, I have entirely rewritten the rule book. <laughs> I have it here in my briefcase. I've introduced a great many more penalties. I think you will find it much more fun. Hmm. The track will have to be considerably altered, of course. But it's taken us three years. Uh, There's always room for improvement, Archdeacon. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? Only a car starting. Oh, 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 shouldn't we see who it is? There you are, Archdeacon. I will go to the window. You study those new rules. How strange. Strange? Uh, what is, Dean? You seem to be misinformed, Archdeacon. The bishop and his chaplain 
will not be back. Oh, of course they will. They wouldn't leave me here with, uh, I mean, uh, without them. <laughs> then why have they just driven off in a motor with women? Women? What? Oh, let me see. Look. They're just going through the pilgrim's gate. No, but they, they can't. I say, chaps, it's, it's not cricket. <laughs> it means that... Oh, of course they will. They wouldn't leave me here with, uh, I mean, uh, without them. <laughs> then why have they just driven off in a motor with women? Women? What? Oh, let me see. Look. They're just going through the pilgrim's gate. No, but they, they can't. I say, chaps, it's, it's not cricket. <laughs> it means that we shall have to play the game by ourselves, Archdeacon. Only three can play. Only three could play, Archdeacon. That is another of my improvements. No, no, Archdeacon, you can't do that. Uh, but, but surely I, I'm allowed a move sometimes. Not until I tell you. <laughs> We've been playing for 20 minutes and you, you had it all the time. That is because I threw a six. You failed to throw a six, so you are naturally penalized. But I don't seem to be able to do anything right. Mm. Whose fault is that? What was that? Stop fidgeting. I thought I heard a car. Really, Archdeacon, you thought you heard at least a dozen cars. But I'm sure I did. There it is. It is a car. I knew it. Don't you think he heard it, my lord? I don't know, Newton. Could you blow it again, my dear? Of course, Bishop. Ah, that should do it. Oh, yes, look, my lord. He's looking out of the window. Linnard. The problem is to communicate. What can we do, Bishop? Point to the fire hydrant, dear lady. We must all point to the fire hydrant. The fire hydrant, whatever for? Henry will understand. Well, I'm pointing, my lord. So am I, Bishop. Oh, he's seeing us, look. Oh, he's giving us a thumbs up. Lindy, now we must just sit tight and see what happens. Well, Archdeacon, was it a car? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Dean. Then come and sit down. You're interfering with my concentration. <laughs> uh, Dean... Yes, Archdeacon, what is it now? Uh, I've suddenly remembered. What have you suddenly remembered? Uh, I've suddenly remembered that uh, uh, I've left my car in front of the fire hydrant uh, again. Uh, mm. yeah, yes, I must go and move it at once. But you can't leave the game. I'm afraid I must. Why must you? Well, well, well uh, yes, I, I, I'm contravening section 402, <laughs> subsection 89, and the C of the local bylaws. Uh, good night, Dean. <laughs> you shouldn't be long now. Well, I do hope not, my lord. The film passed in ten minutes. Here he comes. He's running! Well done, Henry, you made it. Well, come along, Archdeacon. Oh, oh, Bishop. Oh, Am I sad to see you? He's rewritten the rule book. But he can't. Oh, well, never mind, Archdeacon. You're coming with us. We're going to see the sound of music. Now, do you know Mrs. Buckley and her daughter? Oh, how do you do? How do you do? Come on, let's go. Jump into the car, Archdeacon. But I can't. Why not, Henry? Well, I, I can't taste good for you. It's not done. Oh, don't worry, Henry. You won't. No, Archdeacon. May I introduce you to my grandmother? We've been <laughs> to fetch her for you. How do you do, Archdeacon? I hear you're taking me to the cinema. Delighted, madam, delighted. My word, I haven't been to the cinema since they showed the life of Amy Johnson. Hey. Don't believe it. Is it down to you, my lord? Yes. At the timetable? Oh, well, um, I, um... You, uh, you miss a turn if he's right, Bishop. Oh, well, I suppose it's just... These Paddington from on the proof platform at 4 10 arrive at shows with my Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, that doesn't stop at Wells Pool. But it does, it does. To set down only. Oh, oh, yes, so it does. Ah, but you have to give notice to the guard at Rose Rip. I intend to do that, my lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, shake up and let's get on. Three. One, two, three. You have missed your connection. Oh. Spend the night in the waiting room and lose the sun. How long? Bad luck, Luke. Now it's my turn. I must say, you know, we've really got this game right now, haven't we? Wax. So splendid. Uh, a three. <laughs> now I move my engine on. One, two, three. You caught the Pullman Express. Move on six squares. Oh, I see what I mean. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't see what it says. Can you, Henry? You had lunch at crew. Food poisoning, Miss Two Turns. Bad <laughs> <laughs> luck, Bishop. Uh, now it's my turn. Oh, well. Hey, yeah, but before you go on, Henry, just go and see if there's any more coffee in the jug, will you, Ah, uh, yes, my lord. Here we are. We are. Oh, dear. Sorry about that, Henry. Oh, that's all right, Bishop. Uh, sh shall we make some more loot? Ah, uh, well, we could, my lord. Yes. Have we got enough milk? Loot? Ah. Uh. Loot! What are you doing? Well, um, sorry, I'm 
Not at that young woman, I trust. <laughs> a young, a young woman? Oh, where? Sit down, Henry. <laughs> it's only the girl whose mother's taken Gannon Prosser's house. Luke seems to spend his entire time staring at her. Oh, uh, I don't wonder, Bishop. She's got something worth staring at. Henry! <laughs> I'm surprised that you're noticing such things at your age. Oh, can't help anything, my lord. It's six out of mark. Here, here. Steady on there, steady Luke, on. really, please remember that you're a clergyman. Well, of course, my lord. Well, why shouldn't the clergyman be a best in this car? Vintage car? Yes, Lord, she's got the best one I've ever seen, hasn't she, Archie? Uh, if you say so, I hadn't noticed her car. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't care what attraction she may have, will you please stop the please? Right, well, I have, my Lord, yes. She's gone into the house. Good. Then perhaps we can get on with the game. Yes. Oh, Lord. Uh, I can come out again. Sit down, Henry. <laughs> Luke, you heard what I said? Oh, the dean, my Lord. The, the dean? What's he doing? Well, come away from the window, Luke. The last thing we want on a Thursday evening is to be interrupted by the dean. Oh, of course not, my lord. I you see. Ah, uh, the four fifty from New Street arriving at Stafford at five forty-five. Oh, colossal! Oh, 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 oh. that's four changes. Only one to go. Now it's five forty-five, and I'm in Stafford. Let's hope the buffet's open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. The six fifty-six to Shrewsbury arriving at nine p.m. That's done it. I'm afraid you've had it too. You'll never get a trade out of Shrewsbury to Welsh School at that time of night. I yeah. warned you you couldn't afford to hang about. Yeah, yeah. Pip, pip to the post. Oh, bad luck. You miss a turn. Bad luck. Now it's me. What about the 9.42? Eh, well, what about it? There's a 9.42 from Shrewsbury to Welsh School. I don't believe it. Did you count again, you, my lord? Yes. The timetable. Eh, oh, well, um, um, I, um... You, uh, you miss a turn if he's right, Bishop. Oh, well, I suppose it's just Leaves Paddington from on the proof platform at 4 10 and arrives at Shrewsbury at 9 o'clock. Oh, that one. <laughs> ah, that doesn't stop at Welsh Pool. But he does, he does. To set down only. Oh, oh, yes, so he does. Ah, but you have to give notice to the guard at Shrewsbury. I intend to do that, my lord. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, shake up and let's get on. Three. One, two, three. You have missed your connection. Oh. Spend the night in the waiting room and lose the sun. How long? Bad luck, Luke. Now it's my turn. I must say, you know, we've really got this game right now, haven't we? Wax. So splendid. Uh, a three. <laughs> now I move my engine on. One, two, three. You caught the Pullman Express. Move on six square. Oh, I see what I mean. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't see what it says. Can you, Henry? You had lunch at crew. Food poisoning, Miss Two Turns. <laughs> yes, luck, Bishop. Uh, now it's my turn. Oh, well. Hey, yeah, but before you go on, Henry, just go and see if there's any more coffee in the jug, will you, Miss? Ah, yes, my lord. Here we are. We are. Oh, dear. Sorry about that, Henry. Oh, that's all right, Bishop. Uh, sh shall we make some more, Moot? Ah, uh, well, we could, my lord. Yes. Have we got enough milk, Moot? Ah. Uh. Moot! What are you doing? To, um, try and take Not at that young woman, I trust. <laughs> a young, a young woman? Oh, where? Sit down, Henry. <laughs> it's only the girl whose mother's taken Gannon Prosser's house. Luke seems to spend his entire time staring at her. Oh, uh, I don't wonder, Bishop. She's got something worth staring at. Henry! <laughs> I'm surprised that you're noticing such things at your age. Oh, can't help anything, my lord. It sticks out of mark. <laughs> here, here. Steady on there, steady Luke, on. Really, please remember that you're a clergyman. Well, of course, my lord. Well, why shouldn't the clergyman be a best in this car? In this car? Yes, lord. She's got the best one I've ever seen, hasn't she, Archie? Uh, if you say so, 